Hi guys, and today we will be making a seaside layback house. Sorry, the user interface is not away. I realised it is still up a second ago, so here we go. If you don't know how to do this, you must click the button with the three dots, which will take you up to loads of options, and then you click Edit Town. And it will say, would you like to save your current town? We pressed yes, but you can press any one you want, and then you will. it will take you to a loading screen, we missed this bit out. Okay, so choose the lot you want, make sure it's the right size. We're going to go for a C um, front one, because of course ours is called the Seaside Layback House. Um, that lot is a perfect size for us, we're not going to make a massive house, and I love the look at, of the sea. And it will be a perfect view when they wake up. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I look forward to building this house. I'm going to start building now, I think. Um, at the beginning, I was fiddling around with the walls, not knowing what I was going to do. And then, in the end, I used a foundation deck. Now, I don't know how to make the foundation decks diagonal, like the house next to it, the edges. Um, so if you know how to do that, please tell me. I'm just putting in the pillars now, because there's going to be terrace. So you can't say that right. Um, second floor is going to be a little smaller, because of course we need the terrace. So I'm sorry if I can't say terrace right, I've forgotten the name of it, but anyway. I do edit them a bit later. Terrace. I don't know how to say it. Um, so now I get to start put the... Um, rooms in the bottom floor um here's a bathroom going in um i don't know what to do for the kitchen so i'm going to leave that for now i think yeah here's another bedroom going in now that's quite a big long bedroom it's going to be red so i'm going to call it the red room and i put a kitchen in it anyway keep watching because that's kind of a cool feature we can do that's the red bedroom the red floor and i'm just putting in things like tiles for the kitchen and um, bathroom and even a flooring on the porch I don't know which colour to do for the porch so I just did it the same colour as in the other room now on the second floor there's going to be two bedrooms a big lounging area and bathroom I've gone for really pale colours like blues, creams um, because I don't want too extravagant now I am putting in the, I'm editing the terrace as you can see I've made it one big long one instead of making it two small ones Here's a video of me, or here's me, um, doing the bathroom. I could not put a sink in for some reason, um, so I had to change that counter to a sink. Here's the bedroom, the red bedroom, which I'm going to call it. And I didn't know it was going to be red until I put that bed in, so. Um, there goes the lights, just fiddling around there. And here goes a, like, drawer. Um, an art easel and I want to do it like diagonal but I couldn't there's a desk, there's a phone, a chair and a um, ugh, what are they called? computers, yeah um, and then a light then we choose that ok so here I'm choosing the different wallpapers and different floors and then I actually take away the um, walls and that makes it really cool, a kitchen area it looks like it's cornered off but it actually isn't and then I put basic kitchen things in like fridge, um, oven, cabinets and then I put in a hot drink machine and a microwave and obviously a phone and a garbage bin just small there. Um, here we have the lounge area I will be editing this a bit later because we have a stair issue if you never heard a stair issue, it's weird. Um, here's me putting the table in, like how that turned out a lot. Me putting chandeliers in, because if you have money, you might as well put most expensive lights in. Hey, there's another chair and stereo there, so if one, that rhymes. So if someone wanted to have a dance, they could. There's a TV. Okay, so there's the door. Oh yeah, here's the stair problem. I couldn't put the stairs anywhere, so I had to edit it. There, see we go, and I had to work around that. Here's the pale room, so it's practically the same. They both have the same beds. Um, both have one bedside table, um, some flowers, and just a drawer. 
I did the wrong one. And I put a guitar in each one as well. I wanted to put a desk, but it was too small, so I put a bookcase. I used big doors, they're awesome. Yeah. And here's some wallpaper matching the ground with the floors. Um, here's me doing wallpaper for the lounge room and here's the bathroom. I like this bathroom because it's whitey and blue. And it's, I didn't know where to put the doors, but I'm happy with how I put the doors in the end. Even chandeliers in the bathroom, call me, I could be fancy. Yeah, um, now here is going to be another lounging area. I like this lounging area because it looks more full, fuller when I put the carpets in. I put a carpet there which is a separate TV thing, which is weird. Um, there's a dance area, that's a big dance area. And here I put another TV in for someone who wants to be alone. Um, now I put some artwork on the windows, some plants down and now I'm going onto the terrace. Uh, I like the colour of the terrace because it matches the porch um, and it's kind of outdoorsy which is really good because it's wood. I put out some um, benches, yeah that's what they're called, and some lights because if you want to be outside why not have some benches. I do move it around a bit later because I put a bar in there. There's a um, barbecue and I don't know why I had an umbrella there. <laughs> Loads of lights as you can see. light up the place when it's dark. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about what I could do. Yeah, I see, I thought that was a bar, but then I went closer and it wasn't, so I deleted it. I just muck it around here. I found the bar that last, and then I put one in. I do like how that turned out. I would love to live in this house, but sadly I can't. Pay in a minute why. Um, and here is like, I put loads of windows there because you have a nice house, why not flaunt it? Um, the rack windows will have curtains. And then I don't know why I did a window in between the door, the wall and the bedroom. I did get rid of that. Yeah, it's gone now. And then I put them at the back. Okay, here's the first layer again, just adding the windows. That's what I mean. I forgot to add the windows for the red room. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, second floor again. Um, just putting in some curtains, which I like. Uh, and I do put in like a curtain thing on the door upstairs, which is cool. Okay, I'm just editing, putting more pillars in just because you can. Um, here's some steps which I do a bit later. I wanted to do diagonal here you see but I couldn't so I had to go back to my normal way it was square so please help me out with the diagonal thing. Um, here's my stairs going in. Yep. Um, now this fence I have to edit because there was a weird thing and I couldn't put a gate in it because I it uh, was at the at the top of the land. You can put the gate in. So see, it doesn't let me put a gate in. It's so annoying. So I have to see. I done it there. So yay! Let me put one in. Now this house does go to roof. Um, here's the outside. I like the outside. The trees look a bit fuzzy until you go close to them, but that's because. You're not close to them. I like that area. It looks like um, I have purple, pink, blue flowers there uh, under the trees, which is really cool. Um, here I kind of do like a shelter theme because I want to shelter it out from anyone else. I don't want people peeking in. Now I add a swimming pool here. I can put it that in. And now I use a more realistic grass texture. Um, there's two patches of flowers which I put something in later. So here's later I made a um, pond there. Yep, just trying to put flowers around it there. More flowers, more flowers. There. Um, and 
here at the front on the porch I put a barbecue in, two benches and then here. I tried to do a fountain in there and you should see I took the fountain out, it was absolutely massive. What did I see? I, I didn't want that so I had to use something else and it, it worked out kind of well at the end. Okay, so there's the house. It's finished now and, um, well, not finished. I have to do the wallpaper on the outside. Yeah, and, yeah, I was just fiddling around with that. Uh, oh, yeah, here's the last thing I know, I forgot. I had the patio around the pool and around the house. And it took ages to do this, but of course it's, it's um, all fast. But it did take a long, long, long time. <laughs> so, um, I just put patio all around the house, making a little path. Here we are. It doesn't matter if you get it under the path, under, like, the house, because I didn't know that went away until, like, when I was doing this. There we are. Okay, so there's the pool. Here is a front picture of the house. Here's another picture, and I really like these pictures. Um, here's the kitchen, as you can see. It looks awesome. Here's the red room. Here's the back garden. And here's the house itself. I really like this and I would highly recommend um, building one of these houses in the town yourself. Um, not just because uh, it's um, not your, for you, for anyone, because it puts your personal stamp on the house. Here's the back garden with the pool, you can see. And I do like the feeling that it's cornered off. Here's the terrace with the millions of lights. <laughs> and um, yeah, so. I would love to live in this house, but I can't because I didn't make it for me. So there's the house itself, and there's the sea. So please comment, rate, and everything this video. Please subscribe up because loads of more of these videos will be coming along with our series called The Willows and shout outs every week. Um, random shout outs. So if you comment, it might be you because the um, first ten comments. First few, 10 people who comment, two will be randomly selected each week. So um, take my advice and subscribe. And of course, happy swimming. <laughs>